Peace. This is a Beat and Potato Sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is Secrets You Should Know. Some higher practitioners won't let you in on certain secrets because they want you to earn them. They're just not going to give them away freely. And I myself are like this, but I do want to help the family. So I want to talk about some things that will help you on your journey and please, I want to give this caveat. Be responsible. The first secret is this. Gods are omnipresent, which means that they can be at various places in real time. But if you're working magically, you can do the same. So what am I saying? I'm saying to you is that your soul can splinter and astral travel and be in many places in one time. Yes, your soul can do that. And I also, I really get um, tired of the whole sell your soul thing because the soul is part of the source. So it can be celestial or infernal. So it's you can't sell it. Now, what you can do is a soul dedication. And basically what that means is a soul dedication is a lifelong pact to a demon or spirit. That is a soul dedication. But in the end, it is yours. The other thing that I want to talk about is, let's say that you're having dreams about you see yourself as so-called mermaid or merfolk or a vampire or a lichen. And there are various clans in the vampire community. And you can read Father Sebastian's Vampire Magic, which is a very good text. Basically, I want to give this warning to people. Always use discretion along with discipline. Because what can happen is whatever you dream about that you are from an animal, lichen, vampire perspective, what can happen is if you're not doing shadow work, or you're not working to have a balance, what can happen is you can create unconsciously an aggregore and it can run amok in the form of that werewolf or like it in the form of that vampire. So you want to be very careful about that because again, your soul can fracture and go in many different places and the soul is the highest form of consciousness. So I want everyone to know that. The other thing that I want to talk about as far as secrets that you should know that will help you is that when you are doing your magic, it is imperative that you don't ignore your human body because your human body has a personality within itself. And the human body is, it will fight when it becomes too spiritual. And I know you're a spiritual being and you're having a human experience, but the human body has a personality all of its own. And that's why a lot of people fail in magic. Because they don't know how to balance things out. So that's something that I really want to really stress to people. Balance it out. When you're doing all the magical work, also do things that'll balance it out like just go to the park and just laugh have a good time i'm not saying about being around trogs and mouth breathers we all know how i feel about them but do that or look at a basketball game or even play your instruments if you're a musician or just writing down songs balance it out because if you're too spiritualized this can lead to mental instability so again, if you practice magic, recap, if you practice magic and you're excelling at it, yes, your soul can go to a whole lot of places. Yes, you can take on anything that you perceive yourself to be on the astral plane. That's what you will be. And I also want to offer this when it comes to having magical names. Never, if you find out your past name, never tell anyone your past name. It's one thing if you have a magical name, but if you learn a name 
that so-called demonic, angelic, or a demigod. You don't reveal that to anybody. You keep your mouth shut. Here's a, a quick story for you to elucidate the point. I learned my past life name through the internet. Now, on social media, you will always have these so-called tests. What's your real name? What, what's your One was, what's your real demonic name? They actually got that out there. What's your real demon name? So I just said, okay, let's have some fun because every now and again, mentor can get stupid. I claim that. So I did it and they gave it to me and I did some divination and they was like, yeah, that's your actual name. So I want people to know this. Angels and demons will use any means and artificial intelligence and the internet they're not that's not beneath them so i use divination like yeah that's your actual name so if you ever find out your past life name as far as being that what i stated the former don't tell anybody that and the other thing is this when you are engaging in any magical practice always know that there's a potential enemy in your midst that you may have known from a past life. So again, secrets you should know. So with that, that is your meat and potato associate for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.